Cannabis legislation has now been introduced in the Tennessee General Assembly again. The measures range from medical decriminalization and legalization of marijuana. If enacted into law, Tennessee could become the 38th state with some form of legal access to marijuana. State Capitol reporter Gerald Harris now has more on the issue that's gaining attention. Tennessee's neighbor to the south, Mississippi, just became the latest state to legalize medical marijuana. And some lawmakers are hoping to soon follow suit. Representative Jason Powell, a Democrat, introduced a bill allowing for medical marijuana use. He says he's heard from Tennesseans loud and clear. But the reality is what we need to do is focus on helping Tennesseans who have severe, chronic, uh, and terrible health conditions that would, they would be greatly... Um, you know, their quality of life would be greatly enhanced with medical uh, cannabis. However, fellow Democratic Representative Bob Freeman is taking his cannabis bill a step forward, a complete legalization of marijuana. 25-year war on drugs that, that looped in uh, cannabis into that, into that war has sent many people to prison, uh, ruined lives, and um, it, it's, it's time we move past this and legalize. Again, 37 states have already done this. He says Tennessee is missing out on growing, cultivating, selling, and taxing what he cites is already a billion-dollar industry. I mean, it could be, it could be half a billion dollars uh, in revenue a year for the state. There's some projections that currently uh, what is consumed and grown in the state of Tennessee is almost $2 billion right now. This is um, obviously it's illegal today um, and uh, there, there's no tax revenue gain. But there are some bumps in the road to get to legal marijuana. Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally, who presides over the Senate, says his support is contingent upon the removal of marijuana from the Schedule One controlled substances list. Schedule One has no legitimate medical use and has a uh, uh, high uh, ability to cause uh, addiction or or dependency, uh, whether physical or or mental. Republican House member Bruce Griffey and Senator Sarah Cowell, a Democrat, introduced bipartisan legislation to poll Tennesseans about their feelings towards marijuana on the upcoming 2022 ballot. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Gerald Harris. Previous attempts to decriminalize marijuana were killed during last year's session. A bill by Representative Jesse Chisholm would have allowed courts to grant judicial diversion for possession of less than one ounce of marijuana, regardless of prior criminal convictions.